Ooh. Ooh, 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 bestie. I'm not gonna, I'm not getting between the two. You can continue arguing all you want. Anyhow, we're gonna be seeing Spugo, the Palutena, fighting Zane or Apollo, the Lucas, and they are gonna be starting off on FD number two. I knew it. Bubblegum KK. You guys know how much I love this song. It's 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 fantastic. It's one of my favorite. No, right off the bat, like he's able to deal so much damage, just like keeping Spugo in disadvantage for so long. Wow, fifty-five percent already. The way that Zane is also just like able to to condition shield and just like press buttons on your shield and be able to like adapt so well to out of shield responses are like honestly phenomenal. But probably gonna be able to get the nail into back here. I like that Spiro didn't go for another neutral out, knowing that he was at the edge of the stage, he just had to go for the combo finisher instead of trying to extend it. Yeah, one thing that Palatine really looks good against is that if she just spaces a fair bear against him, he's never oh, he's never gonna do like an aggressive option. Doesn't have to choose for that. But that would have been jumper to keep the fire. Yeah, like you see him like playing it back now. Now that he, now that, um, now that Zane has like the stock lead, you see them like not sort of leaving the corner. They're waiting for Apollo to overextend, um, and just just holding the ground so so well. Yeah, I think this is a really good stage pick from Apollo because even even when he was cornered, there's still a lot of stage control to like like throw up PK fire. Mm -hmm. Definitely nice catch on the landing using the PK fire. I like that uh, Zane also didn't try to go for the uh, edge guard or ledge trap rather, and just decided to hold center stage a little bit. Oh, yeah, actually got a feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a really good move. See that? Oh, that yeah. kind of canceled PK fire. That was so sick. That was sick. That was hype. That was, that was know, it's, 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 it's the little thing. It's, it's the little thing. Except that was, that was kind of fun, honestly. Anyhow, um, yeah, that was that was a that was a good recovery from um, Spiro. Lucas is a really good edge guard, but he actually can't cover high recoveries that well at all. Mm -hmm. He's a floaty, and his upper is pretty tiny. So I like that Zane committed to one direction. Um, like like went for like a 50-50 lead of whether or not uh, Spiro was gonna drift to the right or the left because he had like a, uh, oh, they had like a 50-50 chance of killing. That's naughty. Very nice use of, uh, of the reverse PK fire to be able to get a little bit of extra drift to be able to just sort of glide past Palutena and be able to land. I love that using, using that as a landing option. And, and Nets and Lucas especially have really good neutral air dodges in this game because of their like, um, like speed and drift. That was a great catch. He predicted to keep their fire. Mm hmm, definitely. Able to get the out of shield punish on the neutral air. Um, I think like the late hit of it crossing up. Um, or rather, rather, I, I think just Spyro didn't anticipate an out of shield punish at that point. Spiro, my bad. You see Zane just going through like a lot of fadebacks, a lot of fadeback PK fires. Yeah, and knowing it, works, that... it works so well on this stage. Like it's really hard to get mm -hmm. that stage control from him because there's so much space for him to just run around. Oh, that was great. Okay. That. I like the way that Zane is also using the double jump to um, get out of pressure against Palutena. Um, you know, Palutena is like one of the most prolific edge guard, uh, ledge trappers in the game, and Zane is just taking it really, really patiently, knowing when down tilt is something to worry about, knowing when it isn't. Forcing a low recovery with the PK freeze, I like that a lot, but unfortunately not connecting all of the hits with the down air, which would have most likely taken the stock at that point. You know, Zane was looking to take a stock. Um, just about anything could kill either player at this point. 128 and 101%. Counter? Oh. Not quite, but that's going to be the F tilt to take it. And Spiro actually able to make the comeback despite having a stock deficit the entire game. I think Spiro, Spiro um, really adapted well to Zane's game plan. Um, and just like made the most 
out of his approaches. Like every time that he got a hit, he was making sure to get 40, 50% and put Zane off stage every single time that he got it. So I feel like the lead that Zane was working with was maybe not big enough for, for him to be playing as defensively as he did. And he didn't win enough neutral exchanges when he was playing like that. I don't think we're going to see a Duck Hunt counterpick either. No, like, no, Duck Hunt gets bodied by... by... Yeah, he, he, oh. the, the, the dog goes off stage and he just dies. God bless. Please tell me there's more, Lucas. Please tell me there's more. Please, please. I just I just want to see Lucas again, guys. I think Lucas is sick. I think Ness is sick. I don't like fighting them, though. It's kind of whack. Yes, very happy to see that Zane is going to be sticking with the Lucas. Hey, Dara, Go. check your DMs. Check my DMs. I, 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 I sent you some... I hate you. Never send that to me again. Never send that to me again. <laughs> Anyhow, going into game two, we're gonna be starting off on PS2. Um, honestly, I wouldn't be able to speak on the efficacy of the stage over uh, town and city. I feel I like mean, it's it, both it, it, pretty it's neutral. Like a, it's a very wide stage. It's still like <laughs> definitely not bad. And it has it has high uh, or lower. Than we see how well Spear is actually playing defensively right now, just making sure that Zane isn't getting anything started, playing like a very nice like game of like don't touch me, don't hit me. And and yeah, just waiting for Zane to overextend mostly. This is a really, really good spot for Spear right now. I'm gonna be looking to try to get a ledge trump. Um, but Zane was very, very smart to keep on hanging onto the ledge. Yeah, gonna go for the double jump cancel. Zero, back onto the stage. Our back air was not gonna kill quite yet. Yeah, that, that DI was impeccable. You see Zane like staying in the corner, not forcing himself quite oh, yet. Always, always threatening, and she's just like consistently sword hopping. So <laughs> like, like. Do you guys see, like, the way that Zane is actually getting off of the corner? Like, just, like, knowing that when Palu is in, like, short distance, we see Zane not overcommit to PK fires, not want to get, like, whip punished with, like, a back air forward or something, um, and just, like, taking those sweet old time. But that's going to be the up tilt to wow. take the stop. Only at 34. Yeah, this is a negligible percent right now. Spiro has a huge lead. Palu can snowball pretty hard, too. Mm -hmm. Just a solid, steady game of controlling the edge, controlling the corner, and Zane unfortunately not able to capitalize off of the down tilt, but that down tilt is going to convert into a grab. Zane has a stage control. Oh, he, wants... he was definitely trying to read that high recovery there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just didn't get the punish on him, unfortunately. Here's playing very good stage. 1,000 percent is trying to get the back on the stage. Save. Yeah, like, I feel like Zane's all options at ledge are just being covered so, so well. They're definitely gonna have to think a little bit more out of the box when it comes to fighting Palu off of the corner. Yeah, just in general, uh, skate is with, like, platforms near the ledge. It's much harder to get off the ledge. There's just so many, like, things that just protect the ledge trapper. Mm -hmm. Like, the platforms, you can't really... And that explosive flame is gonna take it. We're gonna see the canoeing from Spiro. And the canoeing is actually such a good idea wait, wait, to wait... Called. Yes. Um, it's such a good idea to just wait out the uh, invulm that you get from recovery. Oh no, he was at 2.5%. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That PK3 is last for like 5 minutes, I'm pretty sure, which is really good for a move that like, does like 28 and 60. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that move is ridiculously active. It has very, very little to no end lag on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually put it in the numbers and it's like about as laggy as games. Yeah. God bless. God bless? Really? Mm -hmm. right. Spiro already able to tack onto the damage. I feel like every time that Spiro gets like a neutral exchange win, uh, we see so much damage coming out. But every time Zane gets a win, um, I just see like Zane struggling to confirm off of anything that he's doing. Uh, like the double jump cancels there again. Just going to hit it raw and not able to get much more off of it. I feel like Zane is only going blow for blow while Spiro is able to consistently back on the damage run. Yeah, well, with Lucas, you gotta be, like, on it. Mm -hmm. it it's like single... Just starters alone don't do that much damage, so you gotta, like, 
Yeah, yep, catching the tether recovery with the neutral air. Um, but Spiro gonna be oh. SDing. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Alright. This is fun, but 